coaching at home for the first time as the Canes head coach. And he grew up in this town. He played for the Miami Shore Optimists in sixth grade on the left. His daddy was the two-term mayor of the city of Miami. Tremendous family, great legacy for the Manny Diaz family. Let's go to the sidelines. Doc Punch has Manny Senior. And a very proud papa he is. And, and Manny, every parent lives to see their child chase a dream and succeed. What was it like for you to see your son named head coach of the University of Miami? It's, it's a, it, it is a dream. I mean, uh, to think that uh, when he was a little boy, we used to go to the Orange Bowl and watch the Canes play there and, and see the dynasty that was built back then and now see him on the sidelines as a head coach. It's it really just a dream. It's hard to believe that we're here. People who may not know, your family's story is inspirational. Your dad was a political prisoner for Fidel Castro in Cuba. Your mama, Lisa, brought you here to this country at the age of six with one dime in her pocket. Right. Now, she has lived to see you be elected mayor of Miami twice and her grandson named head coach at the university. What is the message this story sends to those that are watching, especially for the young people? That's the American dream, right? That's what America is all about. And really, that's what symbolizes Miami, where, you know, the fight for the American dream is, is, is alive and well. And, and that's what Miami is. That's what America is. It's that opportunity. It's that woman who came here with nothing and sees her, her son and grandson grow into a position of prominence uh, in the city. I mean, it's just a, she couldn't be proud of herself. Well, your son was going to go work for ESPN. He was going to go work in production and sports. And then suddenly he calls you and says, Dad, I think I'm going to quit the job and go be a coach. What would you say? Well, that was a shock. But I told him, I said, what do you know about coaching? And then years later when I told him I'm going to run for mayor, he goes, Dad, what do you know about being mayor? So he got me back. <laughs> in politics and sports, you got to have thick skins because you can't please everybody. How tough is it going to be on you when you do hear the criticism come about your son? Well... You know, I'm used to it, and, and I think he saw uh, the experience of me, my being mayor and learned, I think, a lot from that as well. And I think he understands. He's very focused. He's very determined. He's turning this program around. We're going to get back to prominence, and he knows that he's got to keep the noise on the outside and just keep focused on what he's doing. So why is he the guy? Why is Manny the guy that can bring Miami back to where it used to be, back to a national championship contender? Well, first and foremost, he's very talented, and he's a great coach, and he's proven that over 20 years of coaching. But aside from that, it's the intangible. He is Miami. He bleeds Miami. He grew up watching these guys at the University of Miami dominate college football, and he wants to take Miami back to that. Hey, Dad, thanks for your time, and enjoy the game. Absolutely. Thank you. The Diaz family story, guys, think about that. It, it seemed improbable, then it became incredible, and now it is historic. What a story. You come to this country with 10 cents in your pocket, your son grows up to be mayor, and your grandson is the head coach of the Canes. <laughs> it's just an amazing story, and just so, you know, proud that you can hear Doc tell it, and, and Mr. Diaz, just so proud of, of their family. you got to hats off to everything they've done for this city. Jaron Williams connects, first down to Hightower. It will be first down and goal to go, but it's... Doc mentioned, you know, he worked for ESPN, did Manny, and I think he did. When, when he grew up here, Manny Diaz was going to be a sports journalist. He wasn't going to be the next Howard Schnellenberger or Jimmy Johnson. He was going to be the next Edwin Pope or Sonny Hirsch, That's the right. voice of the Canes. He wasn't going to be on the sidelines wearing a headset. He was going to be in the booth wearing one of these. It didn't take him long to know where his passion was, and, and you got to credit a guy for doing that at such a young age. He knew what he wanted, and he went after it.